Hey friends, Jessica here with Creators Couture. So we have three minutes, so let's get started. First of all, I went to Unsplash and I typed in colorful textile or colorful fabric and I found this fabric right here. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to hit Command M to create a new pattern um, based on this image. So I'll click OK. I've sized it to about 1500, that's good. I'm gonna take my pattern stamp tool with aligned and impressionist check I am going to select that image that I just uh, created as a pattern. That's gonna serve as my base. Gonna make a new layer above it. I am going to grab my one of my Instapressionist brushes number 75, which has got a nice um, like painterly look. And I'm going to uh, increase the size a little bit and I am going to make on a new layer, paint over this image in diagonal strokes that kind of go along with the um, the folds of the fabric, and I'm gonna create this cool digital background. And as you can see, this is my Instapressionist technique. Um, it's using the images of my photo as the base, and all the colors that are coming out of my brush are from that. Totally magic, super cool. You can download one of those brushes, um, well, a set of them for free on Adobe's website. And then we're gonna go, I'm not gonna change, I'm gonna leave this selected, my pattern stamp tool, leave aligned and impressionist. I'm gonna make a new layer, grab my rainbow rebel brush, number eight, and then like in a crosswise pattern, I'm going to draw these strokes, and I'm not gonna worry that they're perfect, but you get the idea. I could probably put my brush smoothing on so it looks a little bit nicer. But you know what, this is quick and dirty. There we go. Make a new layer underneath that. I'm grabbing Rebel Rebel brush number nine. Nothing changing and I'm gonna paint behind my little, um, oh, paint behind the layers that I just drew. And I'm actually getting a little bit lost in my thing, but it's okay, it's not perfect. And so there's like a little bit of a furry brush stroke underneath coming out of there is funky. This is super funky, super weird, but I am loving it. Don't hate me. And there we go. So we have a funky, crazy digital background. Um, I use three brushes. I use a free image. And now you could use this in a collage, um, a background for your social media graphic, a card background, and you can play around and make it perfect. But hopefully you enjoyed that. And I will have the um, links down below if you need to uh, look at these techniques in more detail and I went a little too fast, but I am well within my three minutes. Happy? All right, let me know if you have any questions.